Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Triburgus, and welcome back to more mini motorways. So, this is like the 500th attempt on uh, setting just somewhat of a good score in any mini motorways map. I feel like we slowly hit a point now where I can legitimately refer myself as a motorway engineer because we've really, really been going hard when it comes to constructing all of these roads, but we're just not doing very well. I think the best result we've had so far when we, when, was when we did color separation. So I think that's the strategy we're gonna try to go for just a little bit more now. Another neat trick, and I've been, I've been really, really just working hard here trying to figure how on earth we just to some extent survive this without completing our run before we even made it to i don't know 2000 points or whatever and it seems like what a lot of people are trying to do is first of all connect houses so that no cars will overlap then they'll run much smoother because they'll meet at less intersections so rather than connecting these two like this well then we tried to connect them like this because this car will take longer and this car will take a different period of time so that should be a good trick so we're going to try to do that with as many as possible and then as you can see i actually put some houses or some roads up here and there is a reason for this the reason is that we can manipulate the house spawns to some extent i'm by no means expert in a, an expert in that so what you see me do here might be very very wrong but hopefully it'll be able to help us out in our misery here because it has been quite painful let's just be honest i'm doing my best here to just try to block some of this i don't know for how long i should be doing this and i don't know how many road pieces i should be wasting on this i do know however that we should probably speed up time because things are progressing quite slowly at the moment and since there are people out there that are very very clever compared to me well then those same people say that roundabouts are a good thing so we're going to continue selecting those maybe we should try one or two traffic lights i don't really know but oh god Okay, so that was a very annoying spawn. I do assume that we can, however, soon-ish connect this one to down there because we're zooming out quite fast at the moment. I don't want any more houses over here spawning right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna separate this bit of road like that. Let's see, we got more up here as well. Wonder what happens if we just do that. Wait, actually, it might be better to just unlock this area and then hide this area right here. Because then if we do get a new color, well, then the houses or the shop, the burger shop is going to spawn up here. And if it spawns up here rather than down here, then we're not going to have them too close to each other. There we are. And then we can connect that like that. So a decent start, a decent start. Oh, God. And then the red pops up down here just as we say that. Well, ain't that frustrating. So right now we can get either 30 road tiles or another tunnel. I think I'm going to go for the tunnel for now. And I just want to mention once again that I'm very annoyed by the fact that this red house just all of a sudden popped up there. And now we had, oh God, this is so wrong already. So we just had another navy colored house down here, um, which I am thinking we're going to connect like this and then connect it up there. I think this is an all right connection. What I want to do is just bring that out to here. And then I just want to go see how traffic flows now. So I'm going to block this off and I'm going to block this off. Right, so what we mostly just have to watch out for at the moment is just that we don't get many of these red ones spawning or anything spawning really right here. So we have no six by six at the moment available for anything to come in here and then disturb our structures. So, well, I do mean we have one up here, but besides that, I think we're looking pretty good. I so wish we had another bridge though but hopefully we'll be able to maybe i don't know get a highway soon then we're just going to connect this to a highway immediately okay, we just had another red house open up over here which is actually quite good i do however don't believe that we have to connect it already and well i just now realized that we had another open space down here but i actually think it's pretty all right because if we could just get ourselves another bridge a bridge is really what we need right now so i'm hoping that we get a bridge here please oh yes there it is good i'm gonna take the bridge instead of grabbing something else which was the motorway we could have probably used the motorway but i'm not gonna go for that one just yet so instead of having these houses run down there now that's gonna create a lot of traffic and i don't like that and i think what we're gonna do instead is try to to do this so if i connect 
I don't even know how to do this. If I connect this like that, and then we connect that up there, then I don't think they should be getting in there each other's way too much. I do, however, think that we need to block some of this off because we really, we, we cannot afford if anything else spawns around the, around the water right now. So the most important thing is just to block this down here. And here's a greenhouse. So we're just going to connect those to there and do like that instead. So they don't annoy each other either. I don't even know if that is actually legitimately a thing, but it's just what I see people do. So I'm just assuming things here. I honestly have no idea if that is actually the way it is, but I guess we'll be fine. Okay, and there's another one. How did that get in there? Why is this such a hectic start? I mean, look at this. We just got two white houses right here, meaning that I think the best option we have to, is to remove this. And I think what we're, what we're going to try to do is just remove that as well. I don't think anything can spawn here since we have the rivers. Maybe like this. And then the white one should be able to supply down here. But we are going to be have, needing some motorways pretty soon. We're just not really getting any motorways. 30 road tiles at least. So we can do some restructuring, which is a good thing. We got another yellow house up here. This is still just a regular yellow one. So I'm not too worried about that one just yet. We're just going to connect that one to there. And then while we do have quite a lot of the colors mixing up here, then it's actually looking okay at the moment. I'm just going to put a line of road down here because I don't want any more white houses to spawn right here. Oh, God. Okay, let's go for our first tunnel here and just bring the tunnel through this ride. So if we connect these two red houses to there, that should actually be pretty okay for this one. Then we had another new white spawn out here. Oh god, and the white ones are spawning down here. I would want to use another tunnel, but it's going to be too many road tiles. So what we could do instead was just to bring down this to there. Then I think I have to give in and maybe let them spawn up here. But that is okay because the area is going to expand very soon. We now have houses here, so I don't think we need those road tiles there anymore. And then instead we're going to run white houses all the way through there and up to there. Then later on, I'm thinking we can reconnect these and just go here instead and then the cluster that we have right there can go supply that one either via a new road or via motorway when we get those it's still just road tiles and tunnels though which is a bit annoying but at least we got a road we got ourselves a tunnel here oh and we now have a yellow spawn up there interesting so i think if we create another intersection right here that was a very annoying intersection but if we just create one right here and we tunnel our way into this then we can connect these yellow housings like this, I think. And then those can supply that down there. Let's just see how this goes. I don't feel like we're off to a very good start. At least the spawns are just not very kind to us right now. I kind of feel like just blocking off some of this again. And this one just upgraded. So good stuff. Good stuff. And maybe here. Oh, God, I missed something right there. But I guess that's actually not too bad. Bad. If we just remove this, then these houses can start driving up there and they actually didn't cluster all that much, which is kind of dope. And then we just got another house spawn right here. So this house can actually help with that one. So I feel like even though we had a pretty rough start when it comes to all of the spawns, we're slowly getting pretty lucky here and I'm, I'm very pleased about that. Another week is approaching now. Let's see what we get. Oh, and there is another motorway. Let's go and grab our first motorway and just see. Do we need it already at this point or can we save it for a bit? My biggest concern is that I really want these red houses connected to, I think, this one down here because I think that one is going to be a bit of a pain later and it will remove one junction from right here. So these red ones can just focus on either that one or that one. You know, let's do a little bit of restructuring here. So I'm going to remove these connections. We're going to bunk down a highway there and connect that highway to right here. Then I'm just going to remove this bit of road right there and remove this bit of road and put those houses connected to right there. Go into this highway and just supplying this one for now, because that is going to take a lot of stress off of this road. And then I'm just going to remove this bridge, which we actually cannot do before that thing is gone, because I'm hoping, but I'm hoping that that thing is going to be gone soon ish. Okay, I don't think it is. Let's just keep this curve for now, and then we can always fix it later if we get a spare bridge or anything else. I guess it's a fine curve, at least for now. Uh, we got another white house down here. That thing is either can should be connected to there or this one. This crossing right here, though, is getting quite flooded with cars, and I'm not too happy about that. Maybe, however, we could do something about that. So at the moment, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring this yellow traffic over to here. And we're trying to bring these white houses down to here. So we could eliminate the yellow cars completely if we ran the bridge over there. And then they had to drive that way, which I think could potentially be that was very hard to delete, apparently, but could potentially be a pretty good fix. 
you know what, here goes nothing, let's try to delete, delete this and just hope that the bridge will be gone well before it's too late. Now, it is a bit of a shame that it's so hard to delete this stuff. Oh god, we got a yellow one down here, which is kind of panicking at the moment. Did I miss any yellow houses? No, I didn't. Okay, finally the bridge is gone. That's good. So what I want to do is I want to bring the bridge over here. By doing that, we create access for all of these houses and i also just want to get rid of that so we create access for these houses so that they can now go this way around instead meaning that they won't interfere with this section right there hopefully the blue cars from here can get quicker wherever they might want to go and that should help us out just a little bit so let's just try this and see if this works Here's another motorway and we're getting another section of blue houses up here. So maybe we want to bring that down to here. I don't even know. Can we? Oh, we can actually round about this bit right here. Now, the big issue in that is that we can't really create a highway. Yes, we can because we can actually get that connected to there. So that is very good. I know I'm doing this kind of early, but I don't know what else to do at the moment. So it's just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, that's pretty decent, right? We saved the yellow one down here as well. So it seems like traffic is flowing just a little bit better here now. I don't quite like these junctions right here, but we can actually do something about that as well. So if we just bring this down into there and down them to there, then we're going to drive all of this traffic through the roundabout instead of anywhere else. And you can see there is quite a lot of a cluster right here at the moment. So that's pretty good. We just got another blue one there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and risk it and bring this one down to here. Now, we also have an awkward intersection right there, but I don't think there is a lot that we can do about that, except for maybe just bringing this down here like this. Something along these lines. We're getting a lot of red cars or red houses rather spawning up here at the moment. Now, the real issue is that I don't really know if we need them at the moment. We have to remember that they are there because that's kind of what we tend to forget. This white one is not getting any cars at all at the moment, and that is a bit critical. Once again, we're just going to observe here and analyze why that thing is. And I think it's mainly because all of these or these white houses right here cannot really supply down here. We have four white houses down here. We only need two of these to connect up there and supply this. So my thinking is that if we just run a road through here, this is only two houses after all, so it shouldn't create that much of a problem. All right, so that's looking pretty good. They can cut this corner without interfering too much here. So they can bring up some more cars there. Then we just got to keep an eye out for this and see if that one fills up. Besides Besides that, I think we are all right at the moment. And this one also just upgraded, so maybe it's time to connect another road to that one. We now get another roundabout and 20 road pieces. I'm just going to grab that, but I'm still not very, very excited for what I'm seeing at the moment. A lot of yellow houses is spawning over here at the moment, but the real issue is actually this one down there. We have three houses connected to this and two houses there. So in theory, what we could do is we could reroute this one up to there and then use this house to supply down there as well, because I think it's going to do more work there. These don't really look like they are in any kind of trouble at the moment. Oh, and we know that just got another connection there. So that's also very good. And also this red neighborhood here is just expanding. So let's just connect one of those houses to there. We could definitely use a highway up here soon, though. See if we could get a connection. I have no idea why we're getting this many house yellow houses up here, but I'm going to be watching it closely because it is kind of making me wonder why. I just wish I could find a reasonable solution for it, but I really cannot. I think we're, we, we're managing traffic quite all right at the moment, though. I'm thinking we could ease the load here a little bit if we round about this bit because it looks like we have a lot of traffic coming in from a bunch of different places. And now we just got this white one upgraded. We connected another house there, so we can actually connect that now. So we have these three supplying and these two supplying. Ideally, it would be dope if we could get so many white houses down here that we didn't have to use these, but we do for now. We just got another white house down here. So actually, if this keeps on going, then I think we can go on this one without actually using a roundabout at some point. Here's another motorway, and I think we want to see if we can connect this motorway to here somehow. We also just got yet another red house, and we have another red one upgrading. So what if we just run a road from there, then some of these houses right here can actually help with this one. And then I'm thinking if at some point maybe we can stop using this. But we also have to monitor this, monitor this yellow one down here, so let's just keep an eye out for that. Now, my main thought is just that we have all of these, like these two yellows here are supplying that one. Then these three yellow houses are supplying this one. And I think they're also occasionally going for that one. Now, this blue one right here does actually not have to be connected there. So we could ease up this bit of road just a little bit. Now, something is using this road, but I'm not sure what is. Is it just the blue car there? 
I think it's just the blue cast, but they don't necessarily have to go all the way up there because we got all of the blue houses down here connected. All right, we just had another yellow shop pop up right next to this one. So that is now a double burger shop, meaning thing, meaning that I think it honestly would be a good idea if we want to run a roundabout or a motorway. Oh, right. Those cannot go over mountains. Oh, that's a big issue. What we're going to be doing is that we're going to run the motorways from there to there. And then we have the connection right there, which could then connect it to all of these yellow houses right there. I don't know how many we need, but they are going to supply these two. The real question is if they can supply enough, because if they can, well, then we could actually ease the traffic a bit on this route right here, meaning that the white cars would be able to get up there easier. So I think I'm just going to remove the connection from, say, these three houses and just see how this goes. It might be a dangerous move, but I'm feeling confident about it right now because this entire neighborhood has to do nothing but just supply down here. You can get 30 road tiles with two traffic lights. I'm going to grab the two traffic lights. I don't know if we can need them. And I'm just going to experimentally try to create a connection around here. Now I'm starting to see blue houses out there. Just going to pulse already because I see a bit of truffle with the blue traffic. And I don't really know where that trouble comes from. And also this blue one is now an issue. It's actually the, all the blue ones being issues right now. And that's kind of worrying me. I'm going to try to use just these signals somewhere right now because I don't know what else to do with them. Put a signal here and then let's just see if we can catch up to this. Oh, God, they're both almost going. Oh, no, the demand is so big down here. I have another blue house there. Let's just connect that. We need all of the blue houses connected up to here right now because they are the issues. That one is an issue as well. That one is an issue as well. There's something wrong with the blue house right now. We're doing something wrong. Let's just think. What if we reroute the yellow houses completely around this roundabout? We don't want them to go that way anymore. But in an effort to get these quickly around there, we're still going to have this bit of road right there because then we can delete that. Then all of the yellow houses will not interfere. So I'm here's to me praying that we're going to have an absolute bunch of blue cars coming in here anytime now. There are a lot of blue cars up here, but none of them are going here. They're all kind of just getting stuck down here. Okay, there was just a huge brigade, brigade of blue cars, but they're all just stuck there. Oh, and this one is going as well. Oh, no, this is way too early. I don't know why the blue cars are not treating us better. I, I think it's because we're sending so many up here. Okay, this is going to be a last second effort here. Just try to fix this and send some of the blue cars up there. Then we cut these off from the supply here. But instead of having all of these go up there, then these can go to the... Oh, God, no. I still don't think we're going to get it in time, though. There's another bridge. Oh, and there it goes. I'm going to just excuse myself with the fact that it was Zurich. So once we get to Manila, I'm sure we'll get at least 7000 points. But that's going to be the next video. Bye bye.